Hi, I'm uh, Pastor Don Clark, and uh, I am glad to see you today. Today I have with me uh, uh, one of my favorite people in Monroe, who I just learned is actually not a Monrovian. And uh, it is uh, Emily, Emily Russell. And uh, Emily is with the Downtown Development Authority. Is that correct? That's correct. And, uh, and you know, last night I was internetting and surfing, Googling, trying to find out what the uh, Downtown Development Authority is. And I didn't necessarily find, necessarily find out, but uh, Emily is going to tell us exactly what it is that she is doing and, uh, and how she's making an impact here in Monroe, Georgia. Today, we are also at my, one of my favorite places in Monroe, Amici. Now, I have always been saying Amici's, and I didn't know it was a Amici until I talked to mm -hmm. Emily. But uh, today, we're gonna sample some of the food, and we'll be, uh, be kind of sharing with you some of the things that we like here. And Emily is gonna talk with us, guide us through what the, the Downtown Development Authority really is. Is that right? That's right. Excellent. So tell me, just real briefly, what is it that you what is it that you do? Well, my job is kind of fourfold. There's four different parts to the Downtown Development Authority. One of them is promotion. Okay. Promoting downtown through events, um, sales, advertising. So you have for the concerts and mm -hmm. all Special those events, uh -huh. all that good stuff. Anything to promote the downtown area. Okay. Is and you guys have been, now, be. I, now I, this is something that I've noticed that uh, they have been doing an excellent job. Monroe always has something going on excellent downtown. That's it right. is an awesome, awesome city. All right, so uh, go ahead. So the Four first follow. thing is promote. Mm -hmm. Promote downtown. Second thing is design. Make sure that the aesthetics of downtown are pleasing to the eye, such as flowers, benches, sidewalks, right. all those things, those small things that make downtown a pretty place to be. Uh, oh, oh here the, food food. Here. the food is here, the food is here. The food is here, the food is here. And some hot wings. Excellent. Now, I am, I am being bad today. Emily looks like a healthy eater. I am not necessarily a healthy eater, so uh, I am, I'm, influencing her hey that's okay <laughs> to, to eat badly so i'm sorry about that uh, so there is four fold mm -hmm. so the first one being promotion the second one design the third one is organization okay. meaning that we have a board we have a structure that we follow um, we have a budget that we follow and fortunately the city is very kind and gracious with including the downtown development authority with their budget and whatnot, and I actually am an employee of the city. Okay. So that organization is a really important. I see. I kind of wondered about that a little bit. Can you tell me which one of those things is? Uh, and I know, I know that you're new to the mm -hmm. development authority. I think it's like four months. Am I a little actually, bit over? Six. Six months. Six, okay. Going on my seventh. Month. Okay. Yeah. So in that time, uh, feet just get kind of getting wet. Which one of those things uh, are would you say is the most challenging? Actually, probably the fourth one that I haven't mentioned just yet, okay, and that would be the economic restructuring part. Okay, okay. And that is making sure that our downtown area has a variety of different types of businesses, mm -hmm. um, that we have storefronts that are not vacant, okay. making sure that we just have reasons for people to invest in downtown. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that is probably the most difficult. Right now, with the economy the way that it is, people aren't really wanting to open up new businesses or they're not wanting to expand. Um, unfortunately, we've lost a few businesses recently and, um, you know, saddened by that loss, but at the same time trying to move forward. Right, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, I, you know, you ride downtown and uh, there are old buildings here mm -hmm. and, and I can understand that, uh, I, now I thought that that was actually what you were gonna say mm -hmm. was one of the most challenging things, the aesthetics of downtown. But, uh, but I, I think that you guys have done a great job in kind of, uh, there's a uniformity that's kind of beginning, and uh, I mean, it just really, really looks nice downtown, kind of the kind of place that people, and I think this, this is probably what you guys want to do. You want it to have a, a feel that on Friday night that people can kind of come down and walk around right. and that kind of thing. that it's a family-friendly place, yes. but it's really a community. Yes. That it's not just a place to go, but it's a community where you fit in and you belong and you're part of it. Exactly. That's what we're striving hey, I'm going, I'm going, I'm Alright, that sounds try, good I'm to me. i some of these wings. Uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, and this, I know what some of you are thinking. This is not a way for me to get free food. I just want to make sure that you know that. <laughs> It is not. This is just a great opportunity to sample some of the fine dining that is in downtown exactly right. Monroe. Well, and, uh, and I will probably say this at a later date also, 
that I believe that the uh, Amici's wings are the best wings in Monroe. And I have, I have had many a wing come across my lips. <laughs> and I just believe that these are, these are the best. So uh, uh, we are here today sampling that. Well, and when you come to Michi, it's not just the food, it's also the atmosphere. It is. Very nice place, mm -hmm. pretty place, you know, some of the wood grain and, you know, just a, 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 a I'm doing badly on this. Uh, That's okay. Am I, is this yours right sure, here? Sure, that looks great. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, they will talk about me on TV forever for dropping that piece of pizza. <laughs> but, well, you uh, might not be able to serve pizza, but, but you can preach, right? Yeah, I can. <laughs> some say I can. Some say I can. Uh, now, now, tell me something. Um, uh, tell me something, Emily, about um, about maybe some future plans that you guys have mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. things that are coming up downtown. Um, you know, as far as the structure of downtown goes, one project that we've recently started working on is developing a pocket park uh -huh. on the southern end of Broad Street down there. Wait a minute, explain to me what a pocket park is. A I don't know necessarily. I know. I've heard park. about it. But the idea is that it's just in a small pocket, in yeah. a small area. Oh, um, yeah. You know, it's not going to have walking trails or anything like that, but it's a it's a pocket of town that could otherwise just kind of go by the wayside and nobody would really notice, but you can turn it into a park and then right. it's a feasible location for hanging out or having lunch or whatever. Emily and I are going to pray right quick. Okay. Father, we ask that you bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. So the pocket park is going to go... Um, just beyond Dale's Florist and Stan's Music Shop on the right, left there. If right. you drive through that into town, you'll notice there's a tall lattice wall. Right. We are actually in the process of acquiring that piece of property through a lease. Okay. And we're going to turn that into a pocket park. Wow. So look for that to come soon. Now, would that, would that have any... Um, Maybe some things for the kids to kind of play around in and that kind of thing? It's probably going to have some benches. It's a, it's a really small piece of property, mm -hmm. so we're just going to start with kind of revitalizing it. It actually has an old safe that is still intact there right. where it used to be a jewelry store. Okay. So it's a really neat thing that we're hoping to restore and keep the original architecture of it. Now, now tell me, I have noticed trolleys downtown. Mm -hmm. Is that something that, uh, that, is something that you guys have been working with? It is. And tell me about that just a little bit if you mm -hmm. know. It's something new. Um, basically, we found that downtown Monroe had become a mecca for antiques. Right. There are tons of antique malls, and, and we're not just talking about junk malls. These are nice, high-quality antiques. Right. So in order to kind of promote tourism for the antique world, we um, acquired this trolley that runs on the first and third Saturdays, and it connects all <laughs> of the downtown antique malls to one another. I just, a few weeks ago, I was in Savannah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they had a trolley kind of running in right. Savannah, and, uh, and I, thought, I thought then, I thought, you know, that's, that's an interesting thing, and then I come back home, and then I see a trolley riding around in the road. That's right, that's right. And um, we were lucky to have some uh, local sponsors come through on that. Cherry Hill at the Mill Antique Mall mm -hmm. and uh, the Engine Room okay. as well, which is also at Monroe Cotton Mills. They are the ones that kind of sponsored it. We yeah. said, hey, this is an idea, we want to do it. And they stepped up to the plate and said, hey, we'll make it happen wow. for you. So that's been an, an excellent asset just to say that we have a trolley, we have an attraction mm -hmm. for people to come into town. And that is enjoy. awesome. Mm -hmm. Speaking of awesome. Oh, the pizza. Is awesome. The pizza is very good. The pizza is very good. But the wings, I think, will top it all. Now, uh, you said that you've been at the job for? A little over six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, you know, I know on, on, on television you probably go say, I love my job. <laughs> I do. But has, has the transition been challenging? It has been challenging. Um, transitioning from the world of working with the schools and right. with children every day, mm -hmm. that has definitely been an interesting transition to, to um, come into the grown-up world every day. Right, right. <laughs> well, you know one of the things that I've said about people that are moving into particular positions and, and when they get there, uh, maybe it's a, it's just, it might be a job that's a little mm -hmm. bit difficult. Mm -hmm. They might have big problems to solve. But one of the things that I've always said is that people wouldn't have got you for the job if you if they did not think that you were able to solve the problems. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm quite sure that uh, that you're able to solve the problems. 
and I'm believing that downtown is going to be awesome. I hope so. Because I hope so. I think we're well on our way, and, and you know, it's not just one single person. It's not just me or whoever's in this position. It's really the whole community working together. The business owners, the property owners, um, just everybody coming together to make Monroe a vibrant place. To so be. let me ask you a question. I know this is probably top secret. When is Chicago coming to town? Chicago? Yeah. Chicago? What about Chicago? The, the, the band. Mmm. Oh, Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> Are there plans? They're, they're not plans, obviously. Okay. They're a little bit out of our okay. price range. All right, okay. All right, yeah. I'm sorry. But if we want to recruit Chicago, we are always accepting sponsorships. That's, that's we awesome. would love Do you guys do that for real? We do. We do. That's how we actually make all of our special events possible. Okay. Is through private donations from individuals and from businesses and from properties and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's actually how we're able to have all of those great special events is through our sponsors. So uh, do you have a certain amount of, um, you guys have a certain amount of concerts that you have planned for year or is there a concert season? There is that is. the way that you guys do mm -hmm. that? May through September, the first Friday of each of those months, mm -hmm. we have a concert. So there's generally five concerts in all. Okay. Now this year, our July concert was cut really short because of weather. Mm -hmm. So we actually rescheduled that for this coming Friday, the 24th. Okay. So we hope to see people out for that. Anything come up uh, that we, and I'm talking with my mouth full, my mama would be mad with me. Uh, <laughs> Is there anything coming up that uh, that you might want to let the people that might be watching right now mm -hmm. know about? Definitely the concert on the 24th, which is Hack, Bartley, and Shuffle. Um, they uh, Hack is one of the original Swing and Medallions, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of great party now music. Now you guys have had the Swing and Medallions here. We have, okay. and they will be back okay. on September the 7th, which is our last Friday concert of the concert series. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, those are our two really big events. So Hack Parker is coming. Hack Bartley and Shuffle. Hack Bartley. Hack Bartley and Shuffle. <laughs> they are coming on August the 24th, and then the Swing and Medallions will be here on September okay. the 7th. Excellent. Um, and also our Farmer's Market continues every Saturday through September. September. Okay. Um, that that'll probably kind of wind up the end of September, beginning of October. So how do they? How and I'm glad you mentioned that. How is it that that? Uh, how does that work? How do do you have certain vendors that have signed up for this? We do. Are you uh, always accepting vendors? We are. We are. We kind of accept them on a rolling basis on the um, on the kind of instance that they have to be local, okay. meaning they have to have either grown or produced their products here in Walton County mm -hmm. or in one of the neighboring counties mm -hmm. to Walton. Because um, we truly want it to be a farmer's market that is locally grown. Mm -hmm. um, so we even visit some of the farms of our farmers just to you know, make sure that they're doing everything that we ask them to do as far as making and producing their own stuff. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're always accepting vendors. We also accept art and craft vendors. Um, but again, they, we ask that they be local and that they actually physically make all of their own. Now, this is the first year for that. It is the first year for the Monroe Farmer's Market. Um, there were some other farmer's markets before in Monroe, mm -hmm. um, but this is the first time that the Downtown Development Authority has actually taken on the market and made think, it their own. I think that it's going to be awesome. It's been great so far. Yeah. Every Saturday we have anywhere between 20 and 30 vendors. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been a great And where are they located at? They're, I think I've seen them, but mm -hmm. I want to make sure. They are on Court Street. Okay, so. that's next to the courthouse. Is exactly. That Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. We actually close off the street and um, we have the tents all the way down Court Street wow. on Saturdays, 8 to 1. That's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and I, I've, I've driven by, seen a lot of cars mm -hmm. there. Uh, I have yet to actually visit, but but it looks like the, uh, that it's moving well, pretty well. Well, stop on by. Okay. Um, we'll we have, yeah, there's all sorts of great, great products that you can get. I believe this Saturday we're going to have goat cheese. Muscadines, all sorts of different things that you wouldn't necessarily expect. So, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, is that it? You, anything else going on That's that we need to know it about for downtown Monroe? And you know, if anybody ever has any questions. We have a really fabulous website that they can check out, mm -hmm. and that's MonroeDowntown.com. Okay. You can learn all about the DDA, our events, our projects that are going on, the farmer's market, the trolley, the concerts, whatever it might be. They can also follow us on Twitter, check us out on Facebook. Now, who's the one that's doing the tweeting? I can't reveal who our tweeter Twitter is. is. Okay. <laughs> all right, excellent. <laughs> it's Monroe Downtown. Oh, I got you. I understand. I understand. That is awesome. So we're, we're glad moving into it. moving into the future. That's right. Tweeting. What do you Stay want? That is that is awesome.
Awesome. So, uh, listen, thank you today for joining us. I'm so happy that Emily uh, took the time out of her schedule to, yeah, to be with us today. And, um, and one of the things that I want you to know, and we'll be talking about it in a future broadcast, uh, Amici's is here downtown. Uh, great food, great atmosphere. Come and be a part of what's going on down here. Come and um, uh, sample the food. And uh, uh, I'm sure that you'll love it. I'm sorry that you were not able to sample what we had today. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for dropping in with us.